Hi and welcome back to another Make with Data video. Today we're going to be looking at Lake House Federation. Lake House Federation is a really new announcement by Databricks that allows you to federate your queries from the same unified Databricks and Lake House platform to your legacy data warehouses like MySQL, Snowflake, Postgres, SQL Server, Redshift, and more. And you're also going to be able to get the rich data governance features from Unity Catalog within Databricks that you're used to if you've used that platform before. So let's say I actually have a SQL Server database spun up in Azure Cloud or on-premise, and I'd like to connect to that with Databricks, and I'd like to still have the data governance features. So here I've got a SQL Server spun up, and I have some sample data loaded to it using the free tier in Azure Cloud. And so I have the cells table called cells order detail with some sales information, orders for products, and things like that. Um, so what I'm going to want to do is connect this to Databricks. So let's go over to Databricks and in the data tab, you will find under external data, there is now a connections section. In connections, you're going to be able to create these external connections um, supporting Snowflake, Databricks, SQL Server, and others like I mentioned. So we're going to select SQL Server and give this connection a name. So I'm going to go to my SQL Server and get my connection strings so I can see the host is available here. We will copy that. And the port, of course, is going to be 1433 since we're using SQL Server. And I'll set this trust server certificate to false. And lastly, the SQL username and password that I'll be logging in as. And now I'm ready to test this connection, which is going to require that you have a SQL warehouse or cluster already started. And I'll hit test. Connection established. So we can hit create. And now we've successfully established the connection from our Databricks platform um, account wide to SQL Server or wh whichever data warehouse that you're connecting. And so now that I've done that, how do I go about exploring the data in it and querying data in it? So if you switch to the data tab, uh, the first thing that we'll need to do is create a catalog that maps to that connection. So you'll notice under create catalog, you can actually create a foreign type of catalog now. And this is going to be what we need to do for any external source like MySQL Postgres. And uh, we'll give this catalog a name, SQL Server, and then we specify the connection that we've just created. Great. And then lastly, the database, which is going to be the name of your SQL database in here, which I've named mine, make with data DB. So hit create. And now you should see all of our schemas populate and the tables within those. So I can see here my sales order detail table. And then of course the schema of that table will load as well. So I'm pulling all of this information now, even though it's in a separate data warehouse, I can see all of this information in Databricks, just like any other lake house table. And the cool thing is it's not moving the data, it's federating the access from Databricks to the other warehouse. So you can actually uh, query that data without copying it and creating data silos. So now let's move over to the DB SQL editor and start querying this data. So I have a couple queries here. Um, I can run this first one and simply select from my table. Um, and maybe I want to create an aggregation that shows me the totals per product. And I can see that like so. Uh, you can create data visualizations just like you would any other data in the lake house. So I've created this and I'll hit save. And then let's say some time goes on and somebody wants to use this query but they don't want to remember the query or they don't want to keep rewriting it. And so as a data engineer, I say, hey, I've got you. I will go and create a view so you don't have to remember that. And I can also govern that query a little bit better as a securable object in Unity Catalog. So I've just taken the exact same query and created a view in a separate catalog of mine. So I'll run this. Awesome. Now, if we hop back over to the data explorer and I go up to uh, the table that you saw me querying, so it's in my SQL Server catalog, sales, sales order detail. So just like any other table and securable object in Unity catalog, you can use the data governance features such as lineage and auditing. And so in my case, 
I have some downstream tables now, or actually a view, and as you can see, it shows up in the lineage. If I click see lineage graph, you'll see a visual of that lineage graph, and I can expand these to show all the columns, and I can even say where did this product ID column in the view come from, and you see column level lineage as well. So this is really cool, it's really powerful. You no longer have to have uh, a combination of lake house and legacy data warehouses with access control that's segregated in all these places or a data governance model that only works for some of your assets. And Databricks is expanding on this quite a bit. Uh, it's, it's in public preview today, so you can use it, try it out, share feedback with Databricks, and I'm sure we're going to see lots and lots of improvements on this over the next year. So let me know in the comments below what you're struggling with with data governance and what you'd like to see next about data and AI or the Databricks Lakehouse platform. Thank you for watching.